When the police arrived here this morning, they found several drowning victims. Among them, a toddler, a child of perhaps two years of age. He was lying here in the surf. All of the images from this tragedy are deeply distressing. Survivors on other overcrowded boats made it back to shore, but these were able-bodied young men. For women and children without life jackets, there was no chance. Found at the water's edge, Eilan Kurdi died with his five-year-old brother and his mother. The policeman gentle in this moment of shock. I came to the sea and I was scared, he says. My heart is broken. Khaled Iqbal had his leg blown off by a bomb in Syria, then fled to Lebanon but couldn't support his family of seven. Now with his 18-year-old daughter Wed, he hopes to board a boat to Greece. On the other boat that overturned, Zainab Hadi lost two children aged 8 and 11. Twenty-five-year-old Freddie Gray screaming in pain as he was dragged and put in the back of a police van. Soon after, he was in a coma. When is enough enough? How many people have to die? How many bodies? Give me a body count. Night. Give me a body count. Surely we need to think again. Emotions had been running high for several days in the city since the death of a black man after he'd been detained by police. Because of that action from ordinary people across the world, we will see our girls return. People are here to say, listen. Silent night. Well, it does make me angry to feel that we have to put this much energy into fighting for our basic rights. There's one else takes for granted. I do feel that um, disabled people have been marginalised. But in a way, perhaps society wants to uh, make say people invisible. I'm here in solidarity for everybody, for unions, for, for working people, for those who are dispossessed. It's about a public movement and we're here. How are we going to change? Well, I always say to people, remember, the sea is actually made up of drops of water. That what you do, where you are, is of significance. We should not be uh, overwhelmed by the the, the, the fact that this uh, task seems so impossible. Do what you can, where you can, uh, to the extent that, because it may just be that your act of courage encourages someone else who was slightly more apprehensive. A and that person says, hey, he's, he's done that. Maybe I can.